with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus immediately left the synagogue and entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law lay ill with a fever, and immediately they told him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. And the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they bought, brought to him all who were sick or oppressed by demons. And the whole city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many who were ill with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. And rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus departed and went out to a desolate place, and there he was, absorbed in prayer. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him, and they found him and said to him, Everyone is looking for you. And he said to them, Let us move on to the neighboring towns, in order that I may preach there also, for that is why I have come. And so Jesus went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord. it says that uh, they searched for him until they found him. They searched for him until they found him. We too are called to search for him until we find him. In today's gospel, we're introduced to Jesus, the great physician, the great healer. And he heals the mother-in-law of Simon, who was to become his closest disciple. Now, uh, as you know, and it's common knowledge, there are four Gospels. And each Gospel tells the story of Jesus in its own way. Each Gospel expresses a particular point of view of the writer and of the reader. And so uh, we have in the Gospel now, it's taken from the book of Mark, the Gospel according to Mark. But there's another gospel called the gospel according to John, and yet another according to Matthew, and another according to Luke. So we have these four witnesses giving their own take on, on the story of Jesus. And so we have four gospels. Uh, in uh, the gospels are recorded the first miracles of Jesus. And it's interesting, the one that's selected by John, Everyone knows that the first miracle of Jesus in John's gospel was the transformation of water into wine, a great miracle, and it caused his disciples to believe in him. There is also the gospel of Mark, and in the gospel of Mark, we have a, a different approach to the story. Uh, the first miracle in John is a story of transformation 
And indeed, that gives us a clue of how to interpret John's gospel. John's gospel is about inner transformation. But Mark's gospel is different. Mark's gospel, the emphasis is on Jesus the liberator, the savior. And so, while the fourth gospel of John is concerned with uh, trans inner transformation, the gospel of Mark is concerned with liberation, liberation of the oppressed. That is the constant theme in Mark's gospel. Jesus has come to liberate us from oppression. And that's the story of John's, I mean, of Mark's gospel. The first miracle in Mark's gospel is not the transforming of water into wine. The first miracle recorded by Mark is an exorcism, the casting out of a demon, which is consistent with the message of liberation because demons are those things in our lives that oppress us and deny us freedom. We need liberation from our demons. And so Jesus, when he heals the mother-in-law of uh, Simon Peter, he does so to liberate her from her suffering. And what does she do? She immediately prepares them a meal. Now, what's interesting to me is it's the Sabbath day. So she broke the Sabbath. She was healed so completely by the power of Jesus and by the love of Jesus that she even was able to get up and prepare a meal. And she was liberated from the oppression of false religion. Religion can become very oppressive. And so, Jesus liberates her from this kind of oppression. And in this way, it indicates the kind of gospel Mark is writing, a gospel of liberation. So may we experience the liberation of Jesus in our own lives and come to know his healing power, for he is the great physician who heals us of all our pain and all our diseases and all our suffering. Jesus is the one who liberates us from the powers of the darkness and releases us into a new kind of life, an eternal life filled with light and love and peace. So may this be our reality. As we seek liberation, may we also experience transformation. And that, I think, my brothers and sisters, is the gospel of the Lord. Grace to you, Lord, Jesus Christ. <clears throat>